Okay, let's go. I'm feeling lucky. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the state? Dear diary, my American family is white, and all of my friends are white. Well, now that the twins have moved away, and I don't have any Asian friends. So, when I look into the mirror, I'm actually surprised to see an Asian. For the longest time, I never knew if I was pretty or not. I used to think that when I didn't get asked out on dates, it was because I was ugly, uh, as I did to Jeffrey. I have decided to explore my true racial identity. I will be going back to my birth country in two weeks. My parents, dear diary, I cannot believe I've been in Korea for 10 days now, and I will be going home tomorrow. And I've met some of the fans at Uncle My quest to find my true identity is a difficult and ongoing process. I'm fourth generation Chinese American. My great grandfather came to the U.S. as part of uh, the crew to build the Transcontinental Railroad. That was in the 1800s. My family moved to Omaha. That's where I grew up. I never knew my great grandfather, but I walked down the street the other day, and there was this guy that yelled to me, "Hey, you! Why don't you go back home, back to your own country?" I thought, "What? Omaha, Nebraska?" <laughs> <laughs> different. I'm not white enough, I'm not white enough, to be all American, but I'm not Asian enough to be traditional. I asked her, I hear you live in America, speak American. I do. I do take ESL class, English as second language. In my class, English, oh. hard language, not easy to learn. Oh. Pronunciation. B I B K I K N I N. So why I not wear by Kai Nai? English. Hard language to learn. <laughs> First of all, to say Happy New Year is Chuk Mong Nam Moi. Very simple. <laughs> so first is chuk 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 chuk. Second is mung. mung. And then third is na. Fourth is mug. There you go. Happy New Year to you too. <laughs> it's, it's one of the most important time in um, in Vietnam because it's like birthday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, everything all rolled in one, and that's kind of like everybody starts over on the new year. So we take a lot of care in preparing for it. Sometimes two, three weeks in advance, there's a great care. You pay off your debts. You make your apologies. You you write everything. And um, then you start over. Because you don't want to carry in any of that bad karma. My grandma running around the house, visiting all her friends, dropping off food, calling to see how the sick are feeling, just doing all the things that we in our busy lives don't make the time to do. And I think it's a beautiful time of the year to sit back and think about all the things that I just want to say one thing about the uh, game real quick. Um, 
I think Gaten, as a good Christian boy, his first gambling experience was at my home. <laughs> and I don't know if I went into this at our panel, but uh, I remember he was red as a beet and felt really uncomfortable taking money from my grandma. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of the younger kids will sit and play that game. And uh, usually Gaten and I get roped into the blackjack table where Gaten is completely comfortable taking my grandma's money now after 12 years of it. <laughs> Can you explain a little bit the, the significance uh, of the altar in, in the home? It's paying respects. It's like going to the gravesite, as Americans do, and paying your respects to those who've passed. Because in our culture, uh, as Kwan said, you know, as a kid, you're not respected. You, you really haven't uh, made any, any um, positive impact yet in the community, in the society, and so on. So the older you are, the more respected you are. And of course, when you pass over, that doesn't go away. Any questions? Oh, questions. What's the role of women in, I don't know if it's just Chinese culture or Vietnamese culture or family <coughs> Asian? Very much in my family, my mother took care of the, the home, domestic realm, and my father really took care of the external realm. So a lot of the preparatory work for New Year's fell upon the women in the family to gather and settle. My family was not like that. Um, and, and when I say my family, mom and dad, and my aunts and uncles, and, and so on. And it was because my dad was in the army, South Vietnamese army, so he was away a lot. Which then made it that, you know, the head of the household became my mother. The New Age woman is uh, quite uh, different than the traditional woman. So I think that um, my dad purposely raised us so that we were more multidimensional because he felt as though in America you have to be more independent. And there is something that... Uh, Alison Kwan, thank you very much. We appreciate it.